Eating cereal for breakfast has been a staple of the American diet since it was invented in 1733 by our forefather, Benjamin Franklin. Before his epic invention, people commonly ate pussy ass stuff like tea and crumpets in the morning after waking up. While this remained everyone's bay for a while, it didn't take long for cereal to take over the breakfast food market. Then we fast forward to 2015 and things are out of goddamn control. I mean, shit, just look at any grocery store now. The cereal aisle is the length you'd run in a 1k race. Today's food manufacturers are no fools and occasionally decide a cereal has to go. For the most part, it is pretty cut and dry. Get rid of the shit no one buys. But every now and then, they totally fuck up as with the product I am about to talk about in this video. And for those of you living under a rock or simply don't have the fucking clue, it is none other than French Toast Crunch. From what I've read online, this cereal is still available in third world countries such as Canada and Australia. But it has been discontinued in the United States for quite a number of years now. Only to be brought back recently by General Mills due to endless fanboys bitching and trolling the company's Facebook and Twitter pages. I guess that shit might actually work after all, good to know. Anyway, through measurable research, I've come to find out that this cereal has a very interesting past that lead to its creation. It all started one day in 1992, when Mr. General Mills, himself, was viewing the special edition DVD of Honey I Shrunk the Kids that he recently rented from Blockbuster Video. He got the idea that it would be the shit to miniaturize a piece of French toast douched in a gallon of maple syrup. After he had many Skype conversations with Rick Moranis and suffered many failed attempts, eventually, General Mills succeeded in turning his idea into a delicious reality. This was quite a milestone for the cereal industry because most people are too goddamn lazy to get up at 4 in the morning and cook a whole French toast breakfast. The only exception is if you're Mrs. Cleaver. And the last time I checked, she isn't single. Shit. Where was I? Oh yes. Well, in the blink of an eye of General Mills began making millions by leasing out their new shrinking technology to other companies to use on other popular breakfast foods such as egg waffles and cinnamon rolls. But just as fast as this fight started, it began to fall. Which ultimately led to the disappearance of this classic cereal off grocery store shelves. Anyways, that should be enough of a goddamn history lesson for you breakfast noobs out there. Let's just get to the cereal and check it out. The layout on the front is pretty damn basic, but then when you flick to the back, the box designers try to act all hipster with this 90s flashback list. Most of these are pretty self-explanatory, but then you get one about video games. You played video games at home, more than at the arcade. What the fuck are they talking about? Back in the 90s, everyone I knew played at the arcade a shitload. If you wanted to check out the latest and greatest game, that is where you went. Plain and simple. Not at your house on a Nintendo or Sega with their shitty 8-bit graphics and 2-button controllers. It may be like that now in 2015, with all these pussy-ass gamers playing Xbox Live at home. But clearly this list was written by a huge noob. To hell with this box. I guess the most important thing here is the taste. Whoa! As you can see, each individual piece looks exactly like a slice of French toast. Complete with specks of cinnamon and even the brown bread crust. If you ask me, General Mills should have continued with his groundbreaking food technology and made an eggs and bacon cereal like this. I got a boner now, just thinking about it. But since it probably won't happen, I guess I'll go on drinking eggs for breakfast, like fucking Rocky. Anyways, I see maple syrup nowhere on the ingredients label on the box. But goddamn, does it taste like it. So good work, Mr. General Mills, on your amazing scientific breakthrough. And until next time, peace out, bitches.